Hello. Thank you for joining me here at ATL Forum. My name is African Professor One. If this is the first time you come into this platform, I kindly ask you to share, subscribe, and testify for me. Witness, bear witness to this platform. Let your friends and family, everybody know how informative this platform is. We talk about a range of issues. It's uh, unscripted, and I don't write anything down, like I said, and um, it's also freestyle. And so when I, when I talk about a range of issues involving your, excuse me, your political issues, and your political issue, economic, social, cultural, and everything. So if you come here, when you come to this platform, like I said, you'll be disappointed because you find something of importance to you. So one more time, this is ATL Forum, and my name is African Professor One. So uh, today, is normally, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something different because normally when I talk, I, I hardly talk about individuals personally, you know, and what they're doing. And especially in a negative, in an unpleasant, you know, format or terms. But today it will be an exception to the rule, you know, but because today's topic will be about Elon Musk, you know, the founder of Tesla, the owner of Tesla. That's why there's a reason that has precipitated my, 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 or uh, pushed me to uh, talk about him a little bit. And I think this is getting out of hand. So somebody also have to address it in a forceful way. So today's topic will be, this is the title of my conversation today. I say Elon Musk and his racist tweets or tweets or tantrums are getting out of hand. Somebody need to respond to him. Let me repeat him. I say, let me say, I say Elon Musk and his racial or trouble tantrums are getting out of hand. Somebody need to respond to him and that is exactly what i've chose to do today at this point so why am i saying that see over the years all those people who read a lot about what's going on around the world around them you hear elon musk like to want attention a lot because you can tell he's not the only billionaire yeah he get rich he's one of the richest you know people but i mean but he he want to be seen all the time you know on the tweet because guess what he bought the tweet because I guess he he won that attention. That's why he acquired it tweet, you know, Twitter and changed the name to S. Whatever that S means, he only he only one knows what that exactly stands for. That X stands for, but that's him. Because me, I'm not a fan of Twitter. I've never been a Twitter fan or a member. I don't even know what I, I see. People I have friends who have it, but I don't know what it is, and I don't want to know. You know, so that is what it is. But that's that's not the question here. But the question is, if he owns Twitch, we got it. But don't use Twitch just to spill, you know, crazy, outlandish, you know, racial uh, conspiracy theories. So at first, it used to be about, it used to be about Jews. He used to talk about Jews, you spill out, spread some kind of conspiracy theories about Jews and that kind of stuff. And I guess... The Jews had enough of it, so they pushed back. And now he has slowed down on that aspect. Even though he hasn't stopped, he slowed down. But now he has turned anywhere he sees some controversy, that, that, that guy will go there. Because you know what? Goes there because he want to touch it so bad. With all the money he got, he's not happy. He's not. He's not happy because he's happy. He will admit that he was using some drugs. It's, it's open. It's open. You know, in the, in, the, in the news, he said it. You can, you guys can Google. Hey, he admitted it, you know, but, but anyway, so I don't know whether when sometimes he's under some influence of drugs or whatever, make him spill some kind of, you know, crazy, wild, weird conspiracy theories about other group of people, racial or ethnic, ethnic, you know, group, ethnicity or whatever it is. But anyway, so like I said, it used to be about the Jews. You know, he spilled out all kind of conspiracy theories about Jews. Now, he slowed down. Now, he has turned his attention to blacks and immigrants. You see, about Jew, about blacks, not long ago, by a day or two or three ago, somebody must have tweeted about, about blacks concerning historically black colleges in American universities. Historically black colleges in American, you know, in American here. 
So what I mean by historical black colleges and universities are those colleges or universities that are only predominantly black. It's all black only. Mohawk College is one of the where Martin Luther King graduated. Yeah. So black colleges. So he somebody tweeted about black colleges that uh, black college students have low, they have low IQ, intelligent coaching, IQ level. And so a lot of positions, there's a lot of positions they cannot perform better. For example, like airplanes, you know, being a pilot. It's because airplanes, instruments are so sophisticated that, you know, so sophisticated and complex that it requires people with high IQ or smartest people to do whatever that smart means. I don't know. But anyway, so he endorsed that tweet. So in other words, he agreed with that person who made that original tweet about historical black colleges, you know, having low IQ. Now that tells you. So Elon Musk agreed that that is true. And so he was talking, implying in his re retweet about that particular original tweet that somehow it would be a risky for anybody to fly to you know, board an airplane piloted by a black person because, you know, a, a student from historical black colleges. In other words, if, you know, some airline company recruit or hire black students from historical black colleges, they'll be risking, you know, their, their, their company or their airplane because they, they are not that smart to, you know, operate that company. What, what kind of crap is that? What is that? That's Elon Musk. What is that? You can Google and find. I'm not making it up. So my thing is, that's if that he's a fair game. So one thing Elon Musk probably, you know, the tweet exposes Elon Musk's ignorance and the fact that he's not well informed. And the mistake a lot of people make is this: sometimes when people are super rich, it makes them think that they are they are storehouse of all knowledge, they are repository of all knowledge. In other, in other words, because he get money. He think that because he's smart, that is why he make money. He has made that much money. But guess what? We have levels of intelligence. When we talk about intelligence, we have levels of intelligence. And the IQ that you, they use in the primitive days to measure intelligence doesn't capture a whole aspect of intelligence because, like I said, we have different levels of intelligence because somebody may be good in math but may not possess emotional or social intelligence like Elon Musk. So all those are part of, you know, part of intelligence. So IQ, IQ measurement can never capture or cannot measure a, a emotional intelligence or uh, social intelligence. They are all, or practical intelligence. They are all part of intelligence. You see? And so for uh, Elon Musk to sit in, or wallow in that in 19th century or uh, 17th century mindset about IQ, when IQ, everybody knows if Elon Musk is that thing he says he's that smart and when you know informed, he will know, he will realize that IQ has been debunked, that it's not a good measure of intelligence, and it doesn't it doesn't represent cognitive ability. The fact that somebody has an a high IQ doesn't or low IQ doesn't substantiate the fact that that person has either high or low cognitive abilities or, you know, whatever. So for Elon Musk to spew that conspiracy theory about racial, you know, uh, diversity or racial differences because of IQ, it tells a lot about Elon Musk himself. And like many of us who knows a little bit about Elon Musk in terms of where he was born, you know, we know that he was born in South Africa at the time of apartheid South Africa, where the, that racist or racist government, where they separate the country, you know, put the, the natives, the indigenous blacks in the fringes of the society, and it's all just, you know, minority white was ruling the country until the 19, uh, early 1990s when Mandela became president for the first time. So you can tell Elon Musk is desensitized. He cannot, he cannot, cannot desensitize to some of the you know, soft or racial sensibility. So he doesn't have that kind of soft spot for, for racial diversity. All that he see is the white race that was, you know, uh, discriminating against the indigenous majority blacks in South Africa. And that's what he left South Africa, I think when he was about 17 years to Canada, migrate 
with his family and went to Canada on, and then eventually settled in America. So he's not used to that diversity. He, he, in his own word, his white, puny word, all that he see is that kind of uh, racial, you know, apartheid South Africa. And that is what is, I think is influencing. He has, he has that very deep in his subconscious. And so he doesn't see the value of diversity in any way. So you see somebody, it's so ironic that somebody who is an immigrant himself, who wasn't born in the United States like me, I was born in West Africa. You were born in South Africa, Elon Musk. So we are all immigrants. But guess what? The guy, when you hear him talking about immigrant, spinning with his nonsense about immigration in America and wherever, you, you, you sit there and, uh, and shake your head like, wow, this dude? You see, because he think he got money, he gets some people to pamper him or, you know, follow all that nonsense he's peeled around. But many of us are not faced by, you know, money. I'm poor. I'm not, I don't have money like him. I'm poor, but guess what? I'm happy where I am. You see? And so you get sick, I get sick. Right? You will die one day, I will die one day. What a crap. What make you think you are storehouse of all knowledge because you're rich? Man, if you, if you don't like black people or you think wherever your mindset tells you, you're, just, just stay in that lane and leave black people in, a, in their universities or wherever alone. Nobody, guess what? I don't know about you, Elon Musk, but guess what? I've, I've, I've stood in a classroom before or in a classroom. I teach white, black, Hispanic, Asia, wherever people. And there's no, none of them has intellectual, superior intellectual abilities than anybody. It's all about, it, it's all about discipline and hard work and your ability to study. That's what will make you smart. It has nothing to do with one genetics or whatever. And like I said, scientists has disproven this. The fact that genetics doesn't necessarily determine intelligent or cognitive abilities. So I don't know what Elon Musk is talking about. Unless he's just, he's just ignorant. He is. And so people make mistakes. Like I said, the fact that he, or he confused riches with intelligence. Yeah, you can be, you may have a way, you may know how to make money, but that just doesn't capture everything. That doesn't capture the fact that you, you know everything in this world. That's not true. So, like I said, I'm not faced by the Tesla, that founder Tesla. I know you may say, why am I bringing this? is freestyle, so I talk about a range of issues. So I want to, uh, Elon Musk to remember that. Yeah, he's the smartest in the whole world, where, and he thinks he has created a smartest car, which I don't believe it. But guess what? If I were to get a choice to choose between a brand new Tesla and an old raggedy car, Toyota or even Hyundai or wherever, and that car can drive me from A to Z, I would choose that old raggedy car over Tesla. Tesla doesn't phase me. So, bro, don't go around and spill your, your nonsense conspiracy theory and think you can get away with it, but it's not true. If you don't know, I just want you to know, go back. I know you don't like reading. I don't even think you, you know how to read because you have hired a lot of people to do your work for you. That is what it is. You're not that smart like you think you are. So the point is, stop talking about black people that uh, all historically black college students, they have low IQ. That's you. The way you talk about other people, you know, expose your ignorance and the fact that you are not well informed. So I don't care about what you think you are and wherever. You're a human being just like everybody else. You're an immigrant. So stop bashing immig immigrants. Nobody's saying that America should open the door and let uh, borders and let everybody, criminals, wherever, illegal, you know, immigration or whatever. That is not the point. But the way you, you talk about things, I guess you are trying so hard to be liked by the, those people on the fringes of the society. The, those people who don't like any other people, but a certain group of people in, in their circle or in the one society, they won't maybe what we call racial purity, like one race or whatever, which I don't, like I said, I don't believe in race because there's no such thing as race. We have only one race. I don't care whether black, Jews, Asian, whatever, we all one race, human race. As somebody who believes in the Bible, I think we are all one race. We have, it's a trap. Stop your trauma hatred, your trauma tantrums, and your trauma tweets, and talk and focus on something you know, something more positive, something more, you know, edifying, something that will bring people together as opposed to all these conspiracy theories about Jews, about blacks, about immigrants, and why well, you are immigrant yourself. So you know it. So one more time, this is 
Africa Professor One, and you are visiting ATL Forum. Subscribe, share with friends and family, and I will talk to you another time. Have a great day. Bye.